The next morning, Jacob left with his wives, his children, and all his belongings. He was traveling towards Canaan. Ah! Ha! Huh. There, I got you. Are you all right? Yes. Come on, let's hurry. I knew he was a cheater. Father? Father, he took all our sheep too. He must have left two days ago, that thief. Father, I can see his footprints. Then we shouldn't be standing here anymore. Come on, let's follow the prince and we'll catch him. He couldn't have reached far. We can catch him in a few days. Come on, sons. Laban kept following Jacob for seven days. But on the seventh night, he received a message from God himself. Laban, you should not touch Jacob. You shouldn't even say an unkind word to Jacob. Yes, my lord. Please, please forgive me. After a few days, Laban caught up with Jacob. But Laban remembered God's warning. And he was afraid of harming Jacob. You thought you could escape from me and my sons? I didn't try to escape. All these are mine. You only had a few skinny goats when I came to you. All that you have earned is because of my hard work. Don't start now. I would have killed you if the God had not stopped me. You should. At least now, you have learned that there is God to protect the weak. Hmm. All right. Now that you know that God is with us, let's make a treaty today. Treaty? What treaty? A treaty that you will never cross this monument ever to harm us. I would never want to see you ever again. I'll make that promise. I swear by the name of the Lord. Laban went back after making the promise to Jacob. Jacob then continued with his journey towards Canaan. Jacob then sent a messenger to Esau, informing him about his arrival. But when he returned, he had some bad news to share. Uh, master! Esau has sent an army of 400 men against you. What shall we do, master? Hmm, 400 men, is it? We must divide the flock into two groups. Yes, master. Half the family will go with one and the other half in another group. That way, if Esau attacks one group, then the others can escape. Ah, oh, that's a good idea, master. All right, go and tell this to others. That night, Jacob prayed to the Lord, thanking him and praising him for the favors he had shown Jacob since he left his father's house. He also begged God to intervene and stop Esau from attacking his family. Please God, please help us from Esau's attacks. Who? Who are you? You mustn't ask. Ah! Why? Please! Ah! I'm tired of this running! I will not let go! Ah! Ah! No! I will not let go! I am not running anymore! Ah! Ah! You will no longer be called Jacob. You will now be known as Israel, which means the one who wrestled with God and prevailed. I have seen God face to face and yet I live. Ha ha ha. Ah, oh, my leg hurts. I have to go on. I am ready. Ready for Esau or anyone in this world. Do 
Don't be afraid, dear. I'm not afraid. I have you. Jacob, you're here. It's been a long time. Where were you? He's out. My brother. Don't worry about the past, my brother. Thank you. You must meet my family. Are they your children? Yes. God had been kind to me. And what about the flocks of sheep and goats that I saw on my way? Yes, they are mine too. God has blessed me abundantly. And the camels and the cattle? Yes, but you must accept them as my gift to you. Oh ho! No, no. I have all the wealth I need. You may keep them. Please don't say no. You must accept them for my satisfaction. <laughs> I don't need gifts from my brother. Now come on home. I will, brother. And so Jacob returned to the land of Canaan and made peace with Esau.